Study with Riti. Tips and Tricks. Hello friends. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will tell you about the movements of the earth. The earth is not stationary. There are two types of motions or movements of the earth. Rotation and revolution. Rotation of the earth. The earth rotates like a top on its own axis from the west to the east in about 24 hours. Day and night occurs on the earth due to the rotation of the earth. So, this movement of the earth is also called the daily motion of the earth. The half of the earth which faces the sun has day and the remaining half which does not face the sun has night. The earth while rotating is tilted on its axis by 23 and a half degrees from a straight line running across the center of the earth. The tilt of the earth causes variation in day and night time at different places on the earth. The areas around the equator experience exactly 12 hours of day and 12 hours of night. The duration of day and night varies as one goes away from the equator. The earth spins at 1000 miles per hour and if it stopped suddenly, it would be hit by strong winds that move at 1000 miles per hour, knocking down all the buildings and everything that come in its way. Revolution of the Earth The Earth not only spins at its position but also moves around the Sun at the same time. The revolution of the Earth is the movement of the Earth around the Sun in an orbit or elliptical path in one year, that is 365 and a quarter days. This movement of the earth is also called the annual motion of the earth. It causes changes in seasons on the earth. During the earth's revolution around the sun, the sun rays reach the north pole only from the month of March to September. Thus, on the north pole, the sun rises on the 19th or 20th of March and reaches its maximum at 23 and a half degrees on 21st June. The sun sets on the North Pole on 23rd of September and reaches its lowest on 21st December when there is a full 24 hour long night. The cycle reverses at the South Pole. Due to the tilt of the South Pole towards the sun, the southern hemisphere is well lit and experiences summer. It is a 24 hour long day on the 21st of December on the south pole. The sun rays fall directly at the equator thus heating up the areas of that part of the earth. The poles which are curved areas receive slanting rays from the sun. The two moments rotation and revolution create variations in temperature, weather and in seasons. So let's remember the two moments. Rotation. When the earth moves on its own axis in the west to the east in about 24 hours. Revolution. When the earth moves around the sun in an orbit or elliptical path in one year that is 365 and a quarter days. Thanks for watching. Thank you and have a nice day.